Asians and particularly Indians are more prone for developing cardiovascular disease by virtue of many risk factors associated with them. There are two types of risk factors for coronary disease, one which are modifiable and other non-modifiable. The modifiable risk factors are hypertension, diabetes, smoking and dyslipidemia. Dyslipidemia is very rampant in this part of the world and is one of the commonest cause of atherosclerosis and severe coronary disease at a younger individuals. We have extensive coronary disease coming at a very young age as compared to western people. We develop this disease almost 10 to 15 years earlier than our counterparts. India is a vast country with vast number of people belonging to different communities having different lifestyles and eating habits. In addition to that, we have different stress life also. In order to have a common consensus about the lipid management in this part of the country, Lipid Association of India organized a consensus meeting in various parts of the cities in this country. Almost eight meetings in different metropolitan cities were held, inviting almost 153 consultants from various disciplinary to come to a consensus about the lipid management among these individuals. Dyslipidemia is one of the most important modifiable risk factors for coronary artery disease. The introduction and the discovery of statins in the late in the early 90s change the landscape of treatment of dyslipidemia statins act by inhibiting the hmg 3a pathway and thereby reducing the cholesterol and the ldl levels statins also have a lot of pleiotropic effects like anti-inflammatory activity which also helps in reducing atherosclerotic burden and decreasing the in decreasing the atherosclerotic volume which will thereby reduce the incidence of heart attacks. Statins act by inhibiting hmg co 3 reductase enzyme which thereby reduces serum cholesterol and LDL cholesterol. It also increases the receptors at the LDL uh, level thereby helping to increase the scavenging of cholesterol into the liver. Apart from effect on cholesterol and LDL cholesterol, statins have multiple pleiotropic effects. One of them is inhibiting the synthesis of deprenylation of proteins which is important in the initiation of inflammation of atherosclerotic process. Statins have multiple pleiotropic effects. One is it reduces the inflammation and thereby decreases the CRP levels and, and decreases the atherosclerotic burden on the vasculature. It also decreases the platelet aggregation and platelet activation. It increases the endothelial progenitor cells which help in preventing the migration of smooth muscles and decreases collagen synthesis. It also reduces the atherosclerotic volume by reducing the inflammation in the coronary arteries. Multiple evidence suggests statin as one of the remarkable discovery in reducing the morbidity and mortality of coronary artery disease by almost 25 to 30 percent. And this is primarily based on reduction of LDL cholesterol independent of what type of statin has been used. The degree of cholesterol or the LDL reduction determines the amount of statin to be used in a given patient to bring its desired morbidity and mortality levels of coronary disease. Most of the statins have very few side effects and even if they develop certain side effects, they are reversible after you withdraw the statins. In summary, statins have proved to decrease the morbidity and mortality of coronary artery disease to the extent of 30% and this effect is based on three main uh, points. One is reduction of LDL cholesterol and serum cholesterol which is independent of the type of statin to be used. The amount of statin to be used is highly is recommended according to the LDL cholesterol to be lowered in a particular individual. To achieve a tangible benefits of reducing LDL cholesterol or serum cholesterol you require probably a high dose of statins to reduce that levels. The clinical benefits of statins have been proven beyond doubt in reducing the mortality and morbidity of coronary disease. The amount of statin required to lower the cholesterol is independent of the dose and the type of statin used. However, to achieve a significant LDL and cholesterol level to reduce the coronary disease, a moderate intensity statin may be required in a particular individual. The discovery of statin as a drug has changed the landscape of treatment of coronary disease. Perhaps after antibiotics, no other drug has shown the effect on multiple trials in consistently long-term trials 
have shown the benefits as much as statins has done. The effect of statin is not only on primarily reducing the cholesterol and LDL cholesterol level, but also on many of its pleiotropic effects like reducing the inflammation by suppressing the CRP levels. Statins also reduces platelet aggregation as well as addition and thereby inhibit the process of atherosclerosis. It also increases the endothelial progenitor cells thereby helping the vascular remodeling. It decreases the metalloproteinases enzyme and collagen synthesis which helps in stabilizing the plaque. It reduces the inflammation also and it has any other pleiotropic effects. Statins promote vascular remodeling and cardiac remodeling by inhibiting the enzyme angiotensin as well as reducing the collagen synthesis and thereby help in improving the ventricular function.